It's like I was bleeding. You just Today's such a special day, too. Congratulations on the, the release today. Yes, I'm, I'm excited. It is. That album is rocking. It is. Where did you guys record it at? Uh, we recorded it at um, the Loft Studios out in Saline, Michigan with Tim Padlin. Very cool. Cause you're, that's right, you're in Detroit, is that right, where you guys are at? I'm sorry, I cut out. Uh, uh, it was Saline, Michigan uh-huh. at, a, at a studio called The Loft. The Loft. And, and it was with Tim Padlin, is our producer, mm-hmm. and he uh, plays bass in, in, and is also the producer of Sponge. Oh, wow. The, and he also produced Taproot as well. Great. Which is a Michigan band. And then um, when we finished the album, we I took I ended up taking it over to Chuck Alcazian over at Pearl Sound Studios uh, to, to do a remix. Mm-hmm. And the reason I did that is because in my past bands, it seemed like every time a different producer touched our song and added something a little to it, it just made the song that much better, you know? Definitely. It, it, it's definitely good to put a, put, a, put a fresh ear on it, you know? It is great. It absolutely is wonderful. I got to tell you, it's, it's not today. It's the first single, I understand, um, from the album. Can you tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind that song? Uh, well, a lot of our songs are, are about relationships, mm-hmm. and, um, and everyone can adapt to that. So yes. uh, that, that's, that's it. It's just about a relationship. And, um, you know, I can't speak on behalf of my lead singer. My lead singer's on vacation, so that's why I, can't, I couldn't get a hold of him. But, uh, you know, a lot of our songs are about relationships. Yes, and, and you got the video out. The video is great uh, for not today. Are, are you guys working on some more videos? Or uh, we are actually. Um, actually, you know, we're we're just trying. Everything's moving so fast with the band right now. We're we're just trying to play catch up. And mm-hmm. uh, but that's a good problem to have. Yes, it is. Yeah. So we are working on. Uh, we're, we're working on concepts actually right now for our next video. And um, actually, try and decide which 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 song to release next. I know that's also a good thing. That is a hard one because I'm serious. After listening to them, they're all great. Do you have? I mean, Angels on Fire is awesome. High New Life. I mean, it is. It's it's New Life is oh that I love that song too. That's gonna be a go to song for me. <laughs> nice. Well, you know, that's what's funny is everyone has a different opinion. And everyone seems to be liking different songs, which is really uh, exciting for us, you know, because sometimes it, it, when when you're so, you know, we're so deeply involved in these songs that that we're, 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 we have a biased opinion as far as, you know, we think they're great, but I, we don't know if other people are going to like them. So when we talk to different people and during different interviews and people say different songs that they like, you know, it definitely makes us feel like we're we're on a good track. And also, people are looking at it as a whole album, not just you know picking and choosing these songs. It, it's you have everything there with no fillers, and it is an album that people are going to buy from start to finish. And I love that. I appreciate you guys doing that. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's a different time now. Mm-hmm. Now it's the day of the single, you know. Yeah. And um, and yeah, I, you know, I. I'm I'm a I'm a rock and roll guy, mm-hmm. and you know when I first started playing music, you know SDP Core, you know, came out and Pearl Jam Ten, and those are albums, yes. and you know, yeah. and, and uh, nowadays bands seem to have one or two singles off an album, and then they're on to their next album. That's exactly that's so true, and it's just a shame because I mean that used to be the whole fun in there is finding songs on the album that that you can relate to each one, you know, not just, you're missing so much. Right. Right. And so, I mean, we definitely tried to, to, to make an album, Mm -hmm. you know, and stick to kind of a theme and, and, uh, and I just hope that, you know, people see, you know, what we were trying to do and the concept behind everything. Now, are you guys going to be touring soon in support of this album? 
Uh, we are, you know, we were talking about possibly hopping on the Papa Roach tour, um, but it ended up getting canceled. You know, we were trying to nail that down because yeah. uh, Toby blew his voice out, and I guess he's having uh, surgery on his voice. So, uh, but we are heading out to Vegas in October for contraband. Oh, yes. Right now, we're, we're routing out there and we're routing back. We're going to do basically just a mini tour uh, out there and back. And then uh, we're going to look to uh, book a longer, bigger tour, at, uh, you know, come this fall and winter. Great. I hope you make it to California out here. Even if it's Southern California, we'll drive down and catch it. Oh, yeah. Where are you from? We're in Northern California in wine country up here. But uh, we go to, you know, L.A., you know, pretty much once a week. <laughs> Right. Isn't that weed country, too? Yeah, it is. It's weed and wine country. <laughs> oh, my my band will for sure show up there. <laughs> well, you got to come out here. It's a great, hey, it's a beautiful area up here. You know, a lot to do, a little away from the city, and you got everything nearby. And we'd love to have you out here because uh, we need your music out here. It's it's great. Your your songs, the lyrics are beautiful. You you give all this great attention to detail in it. Now, how, how long have you guys been a band? I mean, are you guys fairly new or no? We are fairly new. Um, uh, I mean, we've all played in other bands in the past. Mm -hmm. and actually, we were kind of rival bands in the past. And and finally, uh, we just got together, you know, and formed what I consider kind of a a, a super group of, of, of Detroit musicians, guys that, that um, all, all, the, all the guys in our band... Are, are just really good musicians. Our singer uh, has has a voice to me that sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, uh, um, and and uh, and then we just hired this year our eighteen year old drummer, and he's been a you know he's a virtuoso in himself, and he's way beyond his years in playing, and and he's one of the hardest working kids I, I've ever met in my life. Wow, that's so incredible. All, I, all around, um, that's 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 what I'm proud of our album for, is because our album turned out, I believe, great. But I believe when you see us play live, we pull it off live. You know, where a lot of bands, I I, I have, uh, you know, suffer a little bit. Mm -hmm. live. Especially live shows. How about you? What was your first concert you remember going to? My first concert that I went to was. Uh, it was the White Tour at Keel Auditorium in St. Louis, Missouri, in the '80s, and it was um, it was like Great White, White Lion, mm -hmm. White Snake, or yes, two yeah. of the three. Yeah. One, I, I don't remember, and uh, I just remember going there and seeing lots of hairspray hair <laughs> and big, big light show. And uh, I was a young kid at the time, and I saw. A lot of girls' boobs. <laughs> and you're like, I want to be in this business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where can I get this job? Yeah, that is great. No, no. if you could actually go back and talk to your 14-year-old self, what advice would you give to yourself at 14? Um, wow. <laughs> I think I would, I would, I, I think I would just say just write, 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 write as much music as you can because, you know, obviously the older you get, the more you hone your craft. Mm -hmm. And, you know, ultimately, uh, I think our goal is to make a stamp in music history, rock and roll history. And, and, um, and it took a lot of work to get to where we're at. And I, I think if I would have just started writing at a younger age, uh, you know, who knows, you know, uh, uh, where I'd be and what, you know, I didn't start writing until later. Mm -hmm. so I wish I would have started writing and writing and focused on writing and, you know, but I was also learning, learning how to play. So, you know, it, it's a give and take. Exactly. It is. And, and how about, who are you listening to these days if, on your iPod? If you can, your top three right now that you listen to bands. Top three bands. Well, uh, always a Stone Temple Pilots fan. Great. Um, 
Uh, right now, do I have to give you a band? No, I, I, The Robin Thicke song, I gotta dance every time I hear it. Yes. I don't know the name of it. <laughs> yes, the Blurred Lines, uh-huh. Blurred Lines, I've, I've, you know, I've got a thing with some, uh, some of my friends where we send each other videos, no matter where we're at, if we hear that song, <laughs> video, or anybody we're with, with and, uh, it's kind of become a running joke, but on the other hand, I can't help it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> little bit when I hear that song. And then uh, thirdly, you know, uh, uh, man, who I really love the band Muse. Oh, nice. Definitely. Especially their new stuff out, too. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely am digging what they're doing. Um, uh, I was supposed to go see them in concert in Nashville this weekend. But I wasn't able to make it down there, and um, and uh, my buddy who plays in the band Brownsville Station, who wrote "Smoking in the Boys' Room," mm-hmm. uh, he he, I was supposed to go with him, and he was down there, and he took pictures, and uh, I, and that's where I want to be. I, uh, they played the, the arena was completely sold out, and people were going nuts, and that. That's, that's what I strive for. Oh, man, that would have been awesome. Now, how, how about you, Jason? If, if you were invisible for a day, what would be the craziest thing you would do? Because you know you'd get away with it. Wow. Man, I... I, uh, if, I don't know. <laughs> it would have to be something to do with naked women. <laughs> something. I'd be watching them somewhere. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. For sure. That is awesome. Now, we're going to be spreading the word today, telling everyone where to pick up Burn. And uh, lastly, is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience? Um, uh, yeah, go buy our album, you know, and request us on the radio. I mean, we're trying to uh, spread spread our wings out, mm-hmm. and and um, and I just want my music to get out there to everybody. And I hope they like it. And I hope to be in their town soon. I want to. I'm a road dog. I'm meant to be on the road. And uh, right now I'm home, and I'm going stir crazy because my <laughs> album is officially out today. And you want to get out there? No, we can't wait for you to come to California. When you guys do your Las Vegas, I'm going to keep looking. And if I see anything in California, we're going to be there wherever you are. Yeah, we're open to book a tour. Like I said, we're just going to go out for a short stint to Vegas in, in October. Great. And uh, we're there and back. We're out in there and back. And then um, we're I, then we'll, hopefully we'll be hopping on a bigger tour. And hopefully we'll have some dates in California. We thank you so much for your time. And we're going to start playing the album today and telling everybody where to pick it up. All right. I appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank I think you want to be a celebrity. Put all your